Good morning, friends. Today is day 10 of our 21 days of fasting and prayer. And the topic is missionaries and global missions. So let's start reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 52, verse 7. I'm going to read from the modern English version. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who proclaims peace, who brings good news of happiness, who proclaims salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. So today I want to understand with you the importance of missionaries and the importance of the global mission for Christians and for God. The first question I want to answer is, why? Why do we need to have missionaries? The first answer is, of course, in the words of Jesus himself in Matthew chapter 28 when it says, Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, to the end of the age. But also I want to think about how how can we become missionaries? And how can we receive the right equipment? Acts chapter 1 says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. So we've seen how we have received a commandment from, from Jesus himself to go and make disciples of all nations. And we see how from the Holy Spirit we can receive the right equipment. And maybe you're asking yourself, but I, I cannot really go somewhere else. That's not my calling. So, the third question that I want to answer is, what we can do then to support missionaries and the global mission? First of all, we could pray. And we have to pray for them, for their work, for their service in the countries and nations where where they are. So, that's absolutely something free of charge that everyone can do to support the missionaries all around the globe and also if you have the opportunity to get in touch with them if you can connect with missionaries that you know or that you know about you can always offer them some money some support some practical help if you can why not many people help and serve in different ways so keep it in mind you can help the growth of the kingdom of God in many, many different ways. It's not just about money. It's not just about service. It's also about prayer and the power of the Holy Spirit at work for the good of His church, for the good and the growth of the kingdom of God. So let's pray today and let's um, remember all our brothers and sisters across the world who are serving in other countries and they're spending their lives for the sake of the Word of God. May God bless you.